Namaste, my lovely Capricorn. Welcome to my channel, Lashua Magical here. Thank you very, very much for tuning and joining in. And of course, welcome to your general reading. This is monthly forecast energy check in for October. So let's see what you bring into the table, my lovely Capricorn. It applies for your sun rising and Venus placements. And as I have mentioned, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. However, the situation may be you take only what does resonate with you, apply it to your situation, and that will be it. Even though I am reading for October, whenever you actually come across this reading, it's a perfect timing for you, Capricorn, to receive the messages and embrace them. So let's dive into that. If you resonate with the reading, like, share and subscribe. If you already have not, I'm truly, truly thankful. And if you find yourself that you do not resonate with the reading, uh, maybe you should check out your other placements, Capricorn, because your messages might be there. That can happen. All of your chart is quite important. Okay, Capri. Hmm. Overall energy, two of swords. So I can feel, Capricorn, that all of these planets, six of them, going station retrograde, which is changing in a week or less or more, something like that. But it's, it's affecting you quite much. Two of swords is air energy. You might were dealing with an air sign who left quite a mark on you, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or you have an air prominent in your chart. Can also be a possible. Um, it can even be both, Capricorn. You know, this is this is where you just feel stuck. This is where the past still observes and overtakes you in your present moment this is indecision and not knowing in which direction to go maybe you have some choices maybe there is a decision you need to make but you are having quite difficulty so october energy is not an easy one for you i feel like um you are managing a lot you are going through a lot and there is something you need to release, but you have difficulties. And this can come in form of a situation, of an energy, of opinion, of belief, of a person. Um, it can be a lot. And again, it's going to hit every single one of you differently. Um, but that feeling of stuckness and just... not knowing where to go and i'm also picking up that energy um you might be emotional more than usual capricorn but i'm also picking up that energy like not only that not knowing where to go i feel like it's less about where you might even be knowing where you want to go but it's like when when should I move? You know, like that period of when can I make a move when I can take a break and recognizing that it's a little bit foggy. Six of Swords, Three of Swords and King of Swords, all of it air energy. So you definitely have some air prominent in your chart. And it can really be that an air sign hurts your ass real bad. So I feel like if you are, I feel like you like multiple decisions. I feel like you brought a decision in a recent past, which can be the energy of the Six of Swords. It can be that another type of decision is coming your way because maybe the past tried to come back around. Um, I mean, the past definitely comes back around. And uh, I just meant maybe the person from the past is coming back around. That's why you feel a little bit indecisive. 
uh, maybe they're trying to manipulate you manipulate you excuse me or to win you back in some way in shape or form and you know all of the past maybe just come to surface that has not have been healed has not have been yeah a lot to take in capricorn is what i'm picking up and to be honest as i was putting the three of swords on the table which is about heartbreak and um you going through that heartbreak so maybe this is something old that you were not healed as i was mentioning earlier that you have not yet recovered from capricorn maybe this is a new heartbreak for you but something here needs to be healed and it has to do with toxicity and i feel like it's less your toxicity even though the devil is your energy because as i was putting this on a table i thought it was devil and I just thought, oh, the devil, Capricorn energy. But it was not. It was this. So you were dealing with a very, very toxic person. So it's either that kind of energy or your energy or you guys at that point of time where you matched. You matched the frequency of toxicity. You both kind of a share. That can also be the case, you know. There are always like various of storylines and various of um, cases, <laughs> let me put it like that, uh, that, you know, only one card can have. Uh, and King of Swords, I feel like you will be embracing the energy of the King of Swords. A little bit detached, a little bit off. At least you seem like that. At least people will, you know, um, feel that energy coming your way. You will come across as the King of Swords. But a very experienced, very intelligent, very wise. You've been through enough and you learn enough, so. <clears throat> Let's clarify your messages. Six of Swords, first of all, consciousness and then laziness, which is another messaging card for I'm in my comfort zone and I don't want to get out of here. I feel like you have that kind of a bubble or something that you build up for yourself, which is helping you to stick to your decision but it's dangerous once you are not in that bubble and that out of that bubble you will be out of your comfort zone and somehow this is connected to decision you have made or another decision that you will be making uh, i feel like this already have happened for a lot of you a conscious and aware of what you are going through what is happening who you were dealing with, why you brought the decision, like, you know it. That's clear for you. We have a habit at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like there are some habits of yours, and one part of that Capricorn is not getting out of your comfort zone. Um, and, you know, like... <sighs> Let's face it, for all of us, for all of the human beings and all of the signs, very often when, you know, for some it's easier, for some it's not. But uh, I believe that for you, Capricorn, is not that easy once you're getting in your comfort zone um, to get out of that. I believe that fixed signs has it the most difficult with that. Uh, luckily in that case you are not one of them but still there is something about what you are used to and I feel like there is a connection you are used to be in your comfort zone and this is not saying that you are lazy or something it's just that special bubble that uh, where you find comfort for yourself where you just know your truth and can live your truth and maybe that is how you protect yourself from the two of swords because this is the energy that is in your surrounding your overall energy in your environment trying to soak you into into that and um it's almost getting the success 
because I feel like Two of Swords is actually reminding you there is a part of you that you still need to heal. And let's clarify that. We have Innocence at the bottom of the deck. And this is you taking care of yourself, you taking care of your divine child, of your higher self, which is very open, very vulnerable and pure and honest. And I feel like this is you taking care of them. Uh, that is a part of you that needs to be healed. You know, this can be some hurt that... It's coming back at you, revisiting your Capricorn that has to, you know, with some relationships back in the day. Maybe one of your first relationships where maybe you started uh, having that toxicity cycle in romance relationships. And now you get to notice all of that. Past life, underneath that, this has to do with karma. We have stuck in a past. Meditative energy coming through, going deeper with it. And this is what you need to do in order for you to release that past and release the baggage and burden from the past. Whatever this means for you, Capricorn, you need to, to uh, dive into yourself to do something meditative for yourself, take care of yourself. You know, if, if you like to, I don't know, I feel like it's almost the universe saying to you, get out of your comfort zone and give your best to still stick to your decision. It was good that you walked away. It was needed, obviously, but it's, it's like, uh, if you like it one way, do it, Totally different than that way. You know, like on a contradictory. And in that order, you will get to face this. And in that order, you will get to release it. We have master. So it's telling me you are going through that and learning about that and leveling up. And we have the new vision, which is also helping you to... Um, See it from a different point of angle of view, which is a perfect example I gave you seconds earlier. It's like if you are uh, used to with those habits to do it in a one way, uh, just do it differently. Do it another way on a contradictionary. Because it will help you to gain more understanding and that understanding will level you up you know king of swords okay so this is happening fast for you embracing the energy of the king of swords it can be that somebody's coming towards you who is in the energy of King of Swords, uh, whatever the case may be, this is happening very fast. As I was saying, very wise, very intelligent, very experienced. But, you know, it's King of Swords seems a little bit off, cool, detached. Because he knows his worth. And he knows where to give and how much to give. He gets to recognize that. And he's not messing with like energies that are not worth it. Sticking to the morals, belief systems. This is a very stubborn person. Whether this is you or somebody coming your way but happening very fast. It can even be some type of events 
is coming. This is Aries energy, very intense, rushing towards something. Uh, that's why I was picking up that energy. Maybe somebody's rushing towards you who is in the energy of the King of Swords. Uh, maybe an air sign, Gemini or Aquarius. Maybe the person you were dealing with because the past really likes to knock on your door in the month of October. Uh, and maybe, you know, all of that happening, coming towards you, you will stick to your beliefs, stick to your morals, stick to your principles. Be stubborn because you will get to feel towards this kind of person in this kind of a situation. Um, it's your right to be stubborn. Mm. Let's see about an advice for you, Capricorn. Somebody in the meanest. Praises, Capricorn. Okay, we have celebrated. Things are unfolding as they should now. Look for the blessings all around you. And you have peace. To be truly happy, want what you have. Don't forget to be thankful and grateful. That is the message. Don't push the river. Go with the flow. Do not push the river. Go with the flow. Best love connection wanted to pop up. We have free yourself. The time has come for you to take control over your life. Free yourself. Free your mind. And the rest will follow. We got a plan. Yeah, for yourself. Passion. If you get to enjoy this moment fully, you are attracting romantic love. I was selling passion, but it's actually the message of attraction. That's why enjoy your present moment, because in that moment, you only get to attract in present moments. But um, hmm, you are attracting passion, obviously. What? <laughs> I mean, come on. Okay. Let's see, Cappy, your answers that are coming through what, you know, you had mostly asking yourself. In the background of your mind, let go, let go coming strongly for you there is definitely a past that you need to free yourself from which again has to do with your decision that was made maybe you were quite stubborn about that decision that you have made and you don't want to leave that place it's almost like you're coming back to that decision over and over again reminding yourself like, yes, it was needed. Yes, you did it. Um, but that's already gone somewhere in the past. And I feel like that is actually um, keeping this connection stuck. Like, it's still not close, at least not for you. And I feel like this person gets to feel you. Let go. We have yes. For you, yes. So whatever you were asking yourself, Capricorn, it's yes. And for another question is unlikely. So maybe yes, but unlikely. If this is one answer, maybe there they are two different ones okay let's see general message you have ability to walk away if it does not serve you anymore okay for you for some of you definitely you need to walk away you need to make that decision and you will you will 
you will. And this is a lovely reminder, like you have that ability. Whatever the case may be, whatever it is, whoever it is, you have the ability to walk away. Simple, just like that. No mental peace, much mind the chatter. This is third eye chakra. Pay attention to your dreams. It's all connected. So universe is sending you signs, which are probably helping you on your healing path. Someone is watching you, secret admirer. And I just wanted to say, and you know, I kept myself back. Like, I don't know if there is any Capricorn male or female who is not attractive. Who does not have some, some thing that is like attractive about it. Okay, I forgive myself and others. I accept things as they are. This is your healing path. This is heart chakra. You also have healing processes needed or present. So it's still a chapter that is happening for you. Maybe you were healing for a while now. Can be. Unity coming together as one piece. So peace is coming your way. Because maybe right now, uh, no mental peace, much minded chatter. You are overthinking. And unity coming together as one piece is happening after your healing process is done. And after you get to forgive yourself and others and accept things as they are right now. Which means not, you know, going back in a time about the decision and everything that you've been through that broke your heart and keep breaking your heart once again, over and over again. No, even though if this person somehow enters your life or somehow you are still involved with this person, um, leave the past where it needs to be in the past. And if this was a toxic motherfucker, leave it there. Tomorrow, maybe you can behave towards them as they were not a toxic motherfucker. So Capricorn, uh, this will be your reading for October. I hope it resonates. I hope it is helpful. Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. I truly, truly appreciate that. Uh, thank you very, very much for being here, sharing a little bit of time and energy with me. And um, I will catch you guys pretty, pretty soon. Take good care. And um, through all of these energies, get to enjoy your October. Namaste.